Good morning, everybody. It is day five. Day five. We are in the Yukon, um, just not that far into the Yukon. Um, we kind of stopped and had a family come to Jesus powwow once we got to the Yukon because <laughs> things weren't going great. Not bad. We just it just things we um, so yesterday was Rebecca's birthday. And uh, we were planning on spending a day or two at this hot spring called the Upper Layard, Layard? Mm -hmm. Hot Springs, uh, something she found online. And, you know, we knew we'd be driving through Layard um, on this journey. Um, so we said, why not stop in the Layard Hot Springs? Uh, and she, it, it'd be a blast. I've never been to Hot Springs. You've never been to Hot Springs, right? So that was the goal. We were going to, you know what, um, it would be a good time to stop, check over the vehicles again, check over the trailer, check over our supplies and uh, just make sure we're ready for the next couple days we're going to be hitting some serious remote areas just make sure we're ready for that um and is her birthday be a good day just to chill so um we get to layered and we can't find hot springs and we had phone service at that time so we got on you know to find phone you know figure out where it was it was actually the upper layered hot springs are two and a half hours away from layered so that was maybe, you know, shame on us for not actually looking at it, just assuming you would name a place yeah. of, the, of <laughs> where it is, <laughs> whatever. So it was kind of disheartening because um, where we were, Layered is not a really big town. There's not a lot of things in it. Yeah. Um, and we went to Watson Lake, which is just up the road. And there again, it's basically a, a glorified truck stop. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a restaurant, grocery store, laundromat, showers. All in one. That's it. And there's a couple small buildings, but it is not a it's big pretty, place. Yeah, pretty small. So we went, we we stopped there, got gas. You got could see the look of sheer terror in the children's face because they were not having a good time <laughs> yesterday because I said it'd be a five hour drive. It turned into an eight hour drive and they spent a lot of time in the car, which really wasn't the plan. It was supposed to be an easy day. Yeah. Um, it was just slow driving on the roads um, for the most part. But uh, so I said, when we got into the Yukon, I looked back there and said, hey, boys, we're almost there. And this time I'm not lying. And I was lying because we weren't almost there. <laughs> not even close. So we stopped. We got out of the car and we talked about it. And we decided we were going to stop, gas up, go out to dinner. And uh, then mom was going to do the laundry where dad was going to set up just you know go through and get the extra things that we needed because we were at a store that was big enough to supply us with i think we got everything we needed yeah except for propane like little propane Holy bottles crap. yeah they're like 12 dollars a piece up here I yeah know that's canadian but that's still like that's still a lot of nine money dollars and you can get two for five or something two like for that. six i think yeah down um, where we are so we didn't buy any of those yet we figured we just wait until we need to see if we actually need them jerry cans are cheap yeah, they're like half the price that they are in the U.S. Yeah, I guess because out here, everybody, like in the U.S., everybody's fuzzy dice in a window. In the Yukon, everybody has a jerry can. So <laughs> they're easily acceptable. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so that's what we did. We said we we're just going to pack up or set up, make sure we have all of our stuff, regroup real quick, find a campsite, and then start hammering miles today instead of taking the day off. And everybody, I think, is on the page same page for it so i give it four hours and they're raising their like when are we gonna stop well we kind yeah. of have a good plan set up um we haven't really fit, talked about how we're going to drive yet it's just been we'll hammer we'll hammer we'll hammer and we we're going to do eight hours in the car driving uh two hours half an hour stop two hours hour stop two hours half an hour stop and then boom destination for the night yeah and keep it easy found a cool museum in white, white horse, horse which is the capital of the yukon it's a yukon history museum yeah. so we're gonna try, hopefully time that so that's our lunch stop yeah we can spend an hour there and eat some food today's and... probably gonna be the nice the best the last nice day. nice day it's cold right now but it's supposed to be in the upper 60s maybe lower 70s today like this is record highs for them yeah it's kind of crazy. yeah it's beautiful it's really it's, nice we've been really thankful for the good weather but i don't think it's going to be good after this looking at the weather we're going to hit rain in the next couple of days so we're going to probably be able to post this today i think we have enough service we'll to post. post this um we will probably have service throughout today and tomorrow off and on i think after that we're not going to have service for probably a good four or five days yeah more we'll than see, likely no, we'll see not that long 
We'll see. Yeah, because basically today we get past Whitehorse, tomorrow we get to Dawson, and then after Dawson, I yeah. don't think we'll see service. Hopefully we can check in with people like yeah. via Wi-Fi, but even yesterday when we were driving the Cassiar Highway, we'd stop at a you know junction or something to get gas, and they'd have Wi-Fi, but you have to pay for it. It's yeah, not a, it wasn't that big of a deal for us. It's not a free Wi-Fi thing, yeah. so, and there was nothing out there yesterday. Yeah. It was a big deal for the kids, though. I think they've actually, it's come to a realization for them that there's going to be not a lot of Wi-Fi on this trip, or hardly a none after this. Yeah. Um, Jonathan, yesterday, every time we'd stop, he'd be like, hey, Dad, do you think do you, do you, do you think this place has Wi-Fi? Mm -hmm. And it was like he was asking me, hey, Dad, Dad, do you think this place has air? Because I've been <laughs> holding my breath for two days. He was freaking out. And it was kind of funny. I felt really bad for him because we didn't have that conversation. You would think, you know, I think they obviously think Wi-Fi is just everywhere. It's like air. It's from satellites, but it's not how it works. So, yeah. No. <laughs> so, yeah. And I tried to hotspot my phone. He just wants to download a simple app is all it is. And because his phone doesn't have data and it literally like my phone because we're out of country and so far out won't even hotspot. Yeah. So that's where we are. <laughs> yeah, and we, the, we found a really cool campground. It was like this campground. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we're in a campground today. We didn't do anything crazy off the side of the road. We just wanted to get to bed, yeah. get unwound. We're get, it's early right now. It's like six thirty. Yeah. So we're gonna get up here and probably be out on the road by seven thirty, maybe eight after eating breakfast and getting the truck all packed up. Um, the truck was awesome yesterday. Thank God. <sighs> Holy crap, it's yeah. been just the bane of my existence the last couple of days. And nothing real serious, but like I'm just naturally a little worry worried about it breaking down in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it was just, it was flawless all day yesterday. So I think yeah. the brakes are the issue because I took a, a hacksaw and I uh, cut the corners of the pads and scuffed up the surface and lubed it. I didn't have any brake lube, but I used uh, axle grease on the corners. It is what it is. Not the best choice, but it doesn't. And, and maybe they won't always Dawson away. is a larger city, so yeah. once we get up to Dawson, we're going to buy new pads and the grease and that kind of stuff that we need. That way we have them if we need them. Yeah. It's not going to be... A... And this hasn't been, just to be clear, this hasn't been a huge, crazy off-road trip. We've been on main roads for the most part this whole trip, but it's very barren. Um, like, basically the last day, yesterday and the day before, we didn't really hit a lot of towns at all. Little, mm. little stops with gas stations is all that we yeah, found. Yeah, and there's signs at the towns that say, check, check your gas. fuel, yeah. because it's 150 kilometers to the next gas station. And then that one might, the next one after that might not be for another 200. Yeah. And you're going to pay what they charge. They yeah. don't even have signs They're out. They're pretty they proud just, of their gas. They just say, this is what you're paying for fuel. And yeah. yeah, it's like when you go to a fancy restaurant, they don't put the, the, the prices on the menu. That's what they do here with gas. Um, it was, uh, what was the highest we paid yesterday? 153 a liter? 159. 159. Yeah, that's a lot of monies. 159 a liter. In American gallons. Yeah, so... And Lucy's not doing super amazing. No, we're getting, gas. we're hitting maybe 10 miles to the gallon on this trip, but we were kind of expected, but we were optimistic we might be hitting, you know, 12. <laughs> you know, it adds up when you're going 5,000 5, miles. Yeah. Um, but no, so it's been, you know, it really hasn't been anything crazy. We've just jaunted off the trails a little bit here and there, but really it's just been. Uh, highway driving or main road driving after yesterday with the main road basically turned into a glorified gravel road in some spots and I think today is going to be more of the same um, and that's kind of what we're going to keep it to until we get to our destination and then I think on the way back we'll do a little bit more exploring this yeah. is just more of us getting our bearings this is officially now the longest overland trip we've been on yep. so um, five days I think biggest was four days and that was even that bad because we were really close to civilization that's the thing it's really hard to grasp is is really being away from civilization and not having that crutch of Safeway or other stores or something like that mm -hmm. if you need something stupid you know you just you have to have everything and we did a really good job packing on this yeah. you know we haven't really needed to stop we think really the only thing there's a couple things we got at the store yesterday that we really needed this mainly laundry stuff yeah, I think was really the only thing we had to do, we had to do if I'm not mistaken. Thing. And get jerry cans because we did the math and we miscalculated how many jerry cans we're going to need once we get up to the farther parts of the Yukon and the Northern Territory. 
Um, but that was really all the stuff we needed to get. Yeah. Everything else was just because we were there. That's a good idea. Stuff like foods and sides for dinners and stuff like that. So. We just got extras. Yeah. Mm. So, um, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, I think that's it too. The camera lasted today. Yeah, it did. And I think we're going to do this neat thing where we don't wear our pajamas and these anymore. Maybe we can do them in the middle of the day. <laughs> I know. I, I was like thinking about that when we were we're setting up. It's like, if you look video. at, yeah, it's like uh, sitting in the same place with coffee cups, looking homeless, and we're having a good time, I promise. <laughs> we just woke up. So. Alrighty. She's good. She's that's good. what we got. All right. Again. Wish us luck. Yeah. I really appreciate you who are guys who are watching these. It's been a lot of fun for us, and this is a good thing for us to be able to look back on when we forget how yeah <laughs> what we did. So really, yeah. really thankful for the creature comforts. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty, wish thank you. you. All right, bye guys.